Nowadays, the recent techniques are used in the field of um, geography, especially in field surveying or in field work. So these techniques are belongs to the certain uh, environment which are under the digital control. Now these recent techniques are used in geography, especially in field surveys for the representation of various data and in mapping. So if we have uh, the example of the river field work, now these type of uh, field works are conducted because to investigate the causes and impact of river flooding. So in the field of flooding or flood is one of the hazard of the Pakistan. So how we can uh, handle this hazard which becomes a disaster for the, for the community of that area. First of all, we must investigate the causes and the impact of the river. So what are the causes? Causes, one of the causes is ice melting due to the rise of the temperature. The ice is melting. So that's why we have the water in the, in the river channel. And the second factor or cause behind the flooding is the, the rainfall. So the catchment area of the river actually receives the rain during the monsoon season. So that's why we have the excessive amount of water in the river channel. So that's why we have the flood in the river. So these are the causes. So how we can calculate or investigate the causes. So by the help of the ground surveys to observe the catchment area or to map the, the area which is under the rainfall, under the melt water. So here we can produce a map for the future generations to investigate the reason of the flood. In the same areas, we must know uh, what is the, uh, the river processes or what are the river processes. So here we again they investigate the downstream changes in channel, investigating meanders or river plain. So these two are actually belongs to the, the slope of the valley, the um, volume of the water, the, the material that river carries. So all these are the factors. So if we have the knowledge of the area, then we can calculate or investigate the channel or the volume of the water within the channel. How we can investigate? So here we must know the geology of the area, uh, which kind of structure, geological structure is. If the geological structure is for faulted environment, so it has different uh, behavior. If it has folded environment, it has different behavior. So again, the factor of uh, the geology of the rock or the rock structure is very important here. The which type of rock it is. If it is um, a sedimentary rock, so the water carries maximum material. If it is metamorphic rock, so the water carries less material. So the volume of the water or the volume of the, the material that um, the river carries totally controlled by the geological structure and the uh, lithology of the rock. Uh, so the flood plain or the meanderings of the river actually controlled by the geology and geomorphology of the area. Same is the case with the coastal field work. So coastal field work actually controlled by certain type of processes. So here we have the wave erosion and the sedimentation of the river delta. So both um, areas um, we can investigate the landform and sediment uh, analysis. So again, if we have the knowledge regarding the delta river sedimentation and uh, coastal uh, wave erosion, we must um, or we can control the coastal environment or we can manage the coastal environment. So by investigating methods, perceptions and impact. So we have again a different example here regarding the geographical field work. If we are dealing with the urban environment, so urban today word is 60% urbanized. So that's why this part of the area is very important regarding the urban inequalities. So here we have certain areas which are controlled by high income group, medium income group and low income group. So all these groups are actually belongs to the urban areas. So we must handle all these things under the equal spaces.
Second most important thing regarding the urban environment is urban rebranding. So some of the areas are under degradations. Like uh, we have the example of the domestic use of water. So we can reuse that water, uh, which is today called the grey water. So in sustainable use of water in the environment, we can uh, reuse the domestic water for our kitchen garden and uh, for our watering of the plants. So here we can rebrand the urban environment. We have second example uh, regarding the air which is polluted by certain things which are related with our networking. So vehicles are very important here or industries are important. So we must um, zone the, uh, the environment or urban zoning is very important. Some areas are under the industrial zones, some are under the residential places. So these are actually the controlled environment where we can rebrand the urban environment. So we must manage the existing environment through monitoring and when we can manage the urban areas, we can plan the region. Same is the case with the rural field work. So rural characteristics, multi-village studies of the settlement hierarchies are very important here. And uh, the field work of the rural environment regarding change activity is uh, also very important uh, where we have the counter urbanization and other recent changes. And the last, uh, but it is one of the very important area of the field work is the ice uh, field work and ecological um, uh, field works. So those are actually related with the uh, the uh, glacier uh, the glacier environment and glacial fluvial environment uh, when we are studying the ecology of the area so we must know which type of environment it has if it is desert environment we must um, know the shifting of the sand dunes and the, the uh, area which is under the vegetal cover